All right, so in this problem, we're given the recursive form of a sequence. So that is, we're given the base case, which is the start of the sequence. So the zeroth term, f of zero, is equal to three. And we're given the step, which tells us how to go from a prior term, f of n minus one, to the next term, f of n, or the current term. So it says that to get the nth term, we take the n minus first term and multiply by two. So let's take a look at how we can build the sequence term by term. So we start with three, which is our zeroth term, f of zero. And to get from this term of the sequence to the next, we use the step of the recursion, which says that we take two times the prior. So if we wanna know what f of one is, well, it's gonna be equal to two times f of zero by our, our step form formula. So it's gonna be two times three. So we multiply three by two to get to the next term of the sequence and we get six. And if we wanna to get to the next term of the sequence from there, we multiply by two again. F of two is equal to two F of one. And again, F of three is, three time, is two times F of two. And we just keep doing this. So what this problem wants is an explicit form or an explicit definition for the nth term of f. So eventually we're going to get to f of n, whatever n is. And along the way, we're multiplying by two each time. So that by the time we get to f of, f of n, we started with three, and we've multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two uh, each time to get to the next term of the sequence. So we have three times two times two times two, which is two to the power of something. So what? how many twos do we need to multiply by to get to the nth term? Well, for f of one, we needed to multiply by two once. For f of two, we had to multiply by two twice. For f of three, we had to do it three times. For f of n, we have to do it n times. So the explicit form for f of n is three times two to, the, two, to the, two to the nth power. This is our explicit definition for f of n. So let's just check it on a few cases. Uh, let's see what f of two is. f of two is three times two to the n. Um, two to the two, n is two here, so two to the second power, which is three times four, which is 12. f of three is three times two to the third power. Two to the third power is eight times three is 24. And this even works for n equals zero. If n is zero, remember that the uh, zeroth power of any non-zero number is gonna be one. So we have three times two to the zero, which is three times one, which is three, our base term. So there we go. That's the explicit definition for f of n.